Hello and welcome to another video. In this one, we're just going to have a look at uh, the difference between 30 FPS and 60 FPS. Um, now, I know, now I know it, it can be quite obvious to some people what the differences are, but to, to others, it really isn't. Okay, mainly I'd probably say m most of them probably the console players because they probably don't see anything any other different, unless of course they have played on the PC in the past. Um, I'm not going to say that as well on top of this that 60 FPS is the way to play or it's the way you have to have it but in my opinion it, if my, in my opinion it's definitely the way to play but I'm not going to say you have to go play a game like that otherwise it's not worth playing of course not I mean for me I do enjoy playing against 60, uh, 60 FPS or above 30 FPS now I, I do find it a bit of a problem and we'll talk about those within this video as well like I said I'm going to show you multiple examples on it as well and uh, we're going to talk about the benefits you can also get of 60 FPS as well alright Okay, so in our first example, we're going to have a look at Witcher 3. Now, uh, the 30 FPS on the left hand side, 60 FPS on, is on the right, and I've, as you can see, I've locked the frame rates in the top left hand corner so you know they are running at that speed, okay? Now, if you look at it, you can see. Well, what you're looking for, you're not looking for the detail, how sharp the game is, how amazing it looks. What you're looking for is the motion, how it, how it is when you move around, when you're looking. If you notice on both the sides, you can see as I'm looking left and right. You can see one of them's a lot, a lot more stuttery, whereas the other one's really, really smooth, and the clarity of it is so much better. Okay, and that's the, and that is the main thing you're looking for with 30 FPS. You're looking for the smoothness of the games. It plays a lot better. It also looks a lot better just because it is running slightly smoother as well. Okay, now that's just an example of what it is when you're moving. So we're going to get into another one in a moment where what's it feel like when you, when you're actually in combat scenes or through action scenes. Okay, as you can see straight away. It's running nice, very smooth on the 60 FPS one, and now check out the 30 FPS. You can see it's ro it is quite stuttery, and it, it can cause problems because you can get low responsive times. You know, when you uh, to your control pad or to, from your keyboard to the uh, to basic response time, it, it it feels a little bit sluggish. It's, sometimes it feels a little bit hard to react when you're playing the game. I'm not saying it, it is it's to be in an end all, but you should be able to notice it straight away. <laughs> Now in the next example, we're going to have a look at Shadow of Mordor. I've done a few extra clips on this one. First one is going to be movement as well. Again, same thing, 30 FPS on the left, 60 FPS on the right. So, you should be able to see straight away, so I'm moving around fast. When you look at the right one, you can see how it's very smooth. It, it, it's pretty much stutter-free near enough. And you look at the 30 FPS where, well there isn't any stuttering, it's more sluggish. It feels sluggish, it doesn't feel as responsive, it doesn't, doesn't actually look or feel as good either. Okay. Now most consoles are locked at 30 FPS, especially with a lot of the high graphical games. Um, so I I if you haven't seen anything above 30 FPS, you're probably not really going to notice any. You, you probably wouldn't have known any better. But it's not. I'm not, I'm not saying that's a problem. Of course not. <laughs> now, if you're looking at the example there, you can see as I'm moving left and right on both of them. There, you can see straight away. You should be able to see the difference. I hope you can. I mean, I know I certainly can from uh, talking over this video. The next part here is going to be in combat. So again, you can see a little bit of differences here, how it can play, and you can you should again you should be able to see straight away the differences between them both. I'd say for me, uh, I have to admit this game, when I was playing this one actually on on 30 FPS, it did feel really badly sluggish actually. Now I have played quite a lot of games, um, and then I like I, said, I did a few examples, not just these ones, not just Shadow of Mordor, which are free and Battle Force to talk about in a moment. But this one certainly felt the most unresponsive, with alone frame rate. It, it, at points, it felt quite horrible. Um, now, for a console, it may be optimized slightly differently. Maybe they have a little bit more responsiveness about it, what it is, it is that they've done. But for me, for the PC version, I didn't feel it. Okay, and in this one as well here, I've just basically just done a camera pan round him. All right, so you you can see. So you basically, you should be able to get a good example of how it is when you the pan is the the, the camera is panning round. You should be able to see straight away it's very sluggish on the left hand side but very smooth on the right hand side. And now we come to the final example, Battlefield 4, where a high FPS matters. Oh it does. When you're on a PC and everyone's got so much different FPS, the FPS can really matter when it comes to those real competitive players because they want that, that little second edge over everybody else. And it matters a lot when you're playing games like this, it really does. 30 FPS, yes it is playable, I'm not saying it never will be. But if you're going to go playing online or on let's say, a multiplayer in tournaments and everything, you want to be running at least 60, at least. Now you can go up to uh, 90, 100, 120, 144, even 165 now from the making of this video. Obviously the higher you go, the much better it's going to be, how much smoother it's going to run. And just 
just in general, the response time would be so much greater as well, and that is what you're after. Uh, you should be able to see straight away in this example that the the, uh, the the smoothness and differences between them both. And um, in the Battlefield 4, I felt it was a lot more noticeable uh, visually in Battlefield 4 than it has been in the other two examples. But I think it I think it mainly is a lot more as well in in first person shooting games. But because I've played I've played quite a lot of them, I do like uh, Witcher 3 and Shadow of Mordor. I notice it quite well in that. But on this one, where you know, where you have to be fast and you have to be fast and quick off the mark. It, it, you you do notice it straight away. I, I feel you do anyway. <laughs> and just on that note as well, um, I, I'm not actually a competitive player on on Battlefield 4. Um, I do enjoy the game. I think it's fantastic, but I'm not a competitive player. I know some people that are, and, and they really do look for super high FPS. They actually go for the 144 FPS. They got the the one millisecond response time monitor to try and get every single bit of edge they can over their opponents, you know. Um, after a minute, that is pretty intense, a little bit too intense for me personally, and I don't think I'd ever try and be that good at a game. I, will, I did used to play, uh, like for example, Alien vs Predator on, if anyone ever remembers M Player, who remembers M Player? So again, we're coming up to another combat scene here now. This is quite a heavy combat scene, there's quite a few enemies in this one. Probably not as heavy as some of the other parts in the game, right? I haven't actually played the entire game yet. Um, but I have enjoyed what I have played of the game. It's been really good, and and like I say, you know, I certainly felt it. Even even in in this scene here, the difference the difference between the 30 FPS and 60 FPS, I really did feel the difference on it straight away. And hopefully you can visually see it as well. The motion of it is so much more sluggish on the left hand side compared to the right hand side. It runs so smooth. It's very crisp. It's just it's, it's excellent, really. Like I say, and the detail settings are exactly the same on all on, on the games for both on all three games. Okay, the, the detail settings are the same. Not saying exactly the same. Obviously, you've got different settings, but everything is on ultra. Okay, I should have probably addressed that at the start of the video. Okay, so that concludes the comparison video now between the 30 FPS and 60 FPSs. Okay, I hope you have noticed the difference and you can see the difference on the YouTube video. It's not quite as clear sometimes on YouTube than it is when you actually uh, play it or watch it first hand on the actual monitor instead of actually uh, you know rendering the video then uploading it to YouTube. Okay, you'll notice it a lot more. Same with the graphical details on the PC being so much higher than the console. Okay, no hating. Um, but if you just ask me my personal opinion, would I obviously prefer to always play on 60 FPS or would I accept dropping below it? For me, personally, no, I wouldn't. I prefer to drop, I prefer to um, always stay above 60 and never drop below 60, okay? Because I like playing my game at 60 FPS. It's a very nice game and experience and it is great. Now, I'm not saying that consoles never play at 60 FPS. Some games do, okay? There are some games that do lock at that. Uh, do lock at that uh, speed now. For example, we'll say uh, a Battlefield 4 on not Battlefield 4, sorry, uh, Star Wars Battlefront. So I'll get it right. Star Wars Battlefront on PlayStation 4. That one does lock at 60 FPS on the Xbox One. Not quite so much, but you probably won't notice too much difference. Um, but when you're looking at the high graphical power games, such as Witcher 3, um, Shadow of Mordor, Gears of War 3, games like that, all those, all the high graphical ones, really high graphical intense games, they are. They are pretty much locked at um, 30 FPS. Fallout 4 is another good example as well at the time of this video. Okay, and you can notice differences when I play. Like, for example, I had a go on my brother's Xbox One. He had Witcher 3 on it. Again, it played great. It looked fantastic. I then downloaded it on my, onto my PC, and wow, the difference was just amazing. It was so so much better on the PC, mainly because I was running it over 30 at 60 FPS, and I really did feel a difference on it. And for me personally, I don't think I'll ever go anything lower than that, or try not to, of course. If I have to, I'll just have to lower graphical settings on it. Okay, but again, that's my personal opinion. You don't have to feel that way. You may feel it doesn't really bother you, obviously. You know, if it bothers you, does it not? What do you think about it? You know, leave a comment below. Tell me what you think about it. Um, do you like or dislike this video? And of course, do please subscribe because I try and get more of these videos out to you as quick as possible, and you'll be notified about them as soon as possible. All right. Thank you very much, and see you again.